Every year there's a guide video due to the surge of numbers in Siege. With XQC playing the game. Holy sh Where? Mother sh and the largest siege event being right around the corner. I'll be doing a simplified guide to every operator from their respective CTUs. Hajime, Sass, Sledge. The most iconic operator in the game. I'm not kidding. The man's literally in every single promo for it. His ability is a hammer. Yep, you heard me right, a hammer. It can destroy soft surfaces and utility instantly. Thatcher, a boomer to the core who ironically has the ability to disable anything electronic for 15 seconds with his EMP, which includes On paper, he might seem to be the most OP operator in the game, which is right, because you only have a 50-50 chance of seeing him. Scratch that, I meant uh, 70% in a ranked game at least. Mute. He is one of two operators in the game where you can main a shotgun and get to champion. Why? Because he is the best secondary in the game. Let's go, Kochi! He can place down jammers to. Well, you might have guessed it, to jam, particularly drones. You can also place them within reinforced walls to stop any breachers. Smoke. Siege's toxic gas character because every game needs one. His gadget is the deployment of gas canisters, which, might I say, is a literal war crime. Phoebe. Ash. The only Jewish operator in the game. She comes with one of the best guns the R4C, even after being nerfed multiple times. She comes with breaching rounds that can destroy soft surfaces and gadgets from afar. I just clicked into it. <laughs> Thermite. If you wanna be a support player, then breachers are the closest you can get. And there's none better than the original. He makes a really ball coming right up. When you place your charge on the reinforced wall. Castle. Don't play him. Unless, of course, you have a team, and even still, don't. Don't do it unless you have a plan with the team. He can barricade with his armor panels, which takes up to 12 melee hits to break down as an attacker. Or you can just tear it down instantly as a defender, though it takes a couple of seconds. Attackers will need explosives or sludge to tear it down instantly. His gun, a joke of a weapon called the ump. Will be tough. Bolo's on only a tiny bit of HP. Down goes Merc. Bolo's one shot away. Will Canadian clutch? Oh my god! No. But it can work. No! Oh my god! A nerd with wall hacks. He's got a scanner which detects the heartbeats of attackers through walls up to 9 meters. And yeah, like Tasher, he sounds broken on paper, but he has the ump and his cardiac sensor has a small range, and you can even hear him pull it out, so it's not really that OP. But it can work. Gigan. Twitch.tv slash Instead of normal drones, she gets her own special shock drones that can shoot tasers for 1 damage, which is mostly used to destroy defender gadgets. In fact, it's so special that it can't even jump like a regular drone. But on the bright side, she's got one of the best guns in the game, the F2. Fogwa, Montagne West, one of 4 shield operators in the game, and this one's a literal moving wall. Monty has the most unique playstyle of either just standing still Menacingly. or supporting your teammates. Ratatouille. Doc. 
former French king of spawn picking and now a shadow of his former self. The MP5 used to rule siege, and now it's above average at most. Oh, and his gadget is just healing people with his stim pistol. Or mostly himself. Baguette. Rook. The other large French operator with the same gun, the MP5, he gets special treatment by getting a higher zoomed scope due to living under Doc's shadow for 5 years. He deploys an armor pack for the whole team which confirms that you only get injured when you get shot to the body. Unless of course you get shot in the head. Macaroon. Spetsnaz. Glass. Siege's first sniper, though a sniper in a game like Siege, which is mostly CQC based, doesn't really do well. So after multiple barfs, his marksman rifle is more of a DMR. His gadget is the thermoscope, which lets you see people through smokes and makes them brighter than the damn sun. Fuse. He deploys a charge on soft surfaces, which spits out multiple grenades in different directions. And he gets 4 of these. To add upon that, he has the most versatile loadout. A shield, LMG, and the most powerful gun in the game, the AK-12. And the only downside to him is that he has a little bit of weight. Cap can. If anyone can get free kills while grabbing a drink, Cap can. He deploys 5 booby traps on doorways which deal 60 damage each. He has a decent SMG and the second best shotgun in the game, the Sausage. The Chanka. He's got an LMG, which is no longer mounted, but still loaded. An incendiary grenade launcher to roast and deny his enemies of entry. GG. Blitz. One of the four shield operators in this game, and this one's a literal train. I'll show you the light if you stand still. <coughs> IQ. Remember the nerd and his wall hacks? IQ does the same, but only for anything with a battery. And with certain conditions, she can have wall hacks herself. She has three primaries which are all solid across the board. The Ash on defense and has one of the best primary in the game. And you got plenty of time to use it. Because your gadget is the ADS Magpie. It'll eat up any attacking projectile with infinite uses but with a 10 second cooldown after each bite. Bandito. His very sophisticated His very sophisticated Oh my fing god. His very sophisticated gadget are car batteries. Which electrifies walls to deny breachers. You can also use it to play a small mini game called bandit tricking. It'll instantly destroy the charge by hearing which side it'll be placed on. Black eyes. Buck. Your friendly Canadian with an underbarrel shotgun and a top tier primary. It's mostly used to play vertically, especially from underneath, because some ops can do what he does with sledge or breaching charges, though not to his extent. Stay frosty, yeah. Your friendly Canadian with a secondary shotgun and for some reason a gun from almost a century ago. Her gadget is the frost mat or welcome mat or pog mat or just a bear trap. Seals. Blackbeard. He literally just has a shield on his gun. And since Siege is a one shot headshot game, well. Valkyrie. She's someone who makes sure that you know everything. And I mean everything. She can throw cams that can stick anywhere, even outside the buildings, which can result in very aggressive plays. Dope. Capitao. Samuel L. Jackson here has a crossbow that can shoot smoke grenades and a fireball. I mean, uh, a asphyxi asphyxiating bolt that burns oxygen. Cavera. The Latina Shinobi, her ability is sicko mode. And any movement she makes will have minimal noise. And to add a cherry on top, she can scream interrogation on any person she injures to reveal the entire team's position. In 
talaga siyon! SATs, Hebana. Also known as the Ghost of Tsushima. She has the X Kairos grenade launcher that sticks to surfaces. Particular to destroy reinforced walls and more suited to her, hatches. And no, they do not stick into your enemies. She's one of two breachers that fraggers will actually be willing to play just because of her gun and speed. <laughs> Finally! The efficient and kinda lazy operator is a heavyweight that has drones which attaches to ceilings called yokais. And it can shoot sonic bursts which makes it look like you drank a shot of rice juice. Jackal, suffering from chronic insomnia. Oh wow! That is relatable! He can sniff out your footprints and reveal your location with gradual pings that depends on the freshness of the scent. Mira Mira on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Y'all can place her on any wall. Just get creative. Though, don't be too creative. STDs. Ying Ling Ling has flashbangs on steroids and she's immune to her own flashes. She's got an LMG that reloads like an AR and she has smokes. So if anybody is not blind, including your own teammates, then you're doing something wrong. I'm gonna plan, I'm gonna plan. Oh my god, I'm glitching. Planning? Wow. I I said I'm planning. Legion. Jackie Chan with cargo pants deploys thumbtacks called goo mines that sticks into your foot and poisons you which does damage over time. Need a strong pullout game to stop it which renders you open for an attack. Grim. Zofia. A mom with a rough childhood from Poland because the lore is important and ironically the better ranked Ash. She has two breaching nades and two concussion nades that detonates on proximity to enemies. And she has, or had, by the time of this recording, withstand the ability to get back up after being injured. Ella. A. 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 The artist in the family and Zofia's little sister. She deploys ice cream cones that sticks onto surfaces, or people, that detonates on proximity to enemies. She has the uncontrollable scorpion, unless you play it first. The number one shotgun in the game and a good pistol with a scope. Vigil, born in Kim's land, he lost both his parents while crossing the border because the lore is important. He says the magic words and goes invisible on camps. His weapon of choice is the IKEA, a solid SMG with easy recoil. Dr. Bay, her K pop looking. is the only operator with no full auto in the building as her primary. She only has the choice of a DMR or the boss G which is unappealing to most. Her ability is what folks would call a phone call on the whole team with the single push of a button. Ubisoft predicting the future by creating a CTU for the pandemic. Lion from Gigan and rival of the former French King Doc or so they say, has the ability to make Simon Says real with the push of a button. He is also a mass source for that sound you hear every single time. Find you. Creme Brulee, Finca from the Spetsnaz and has the ability to grant the following effects. And revive your injured teammates with the push of a button. Alright, starting to see a pattern here with all this uh, push of a button. Good. Because this is where you stop. Just maestro. A man so Italian, you can tell by his fingers. And if you like arcade games, then his gadget is. Zofin, uh. Piano. Oh, Skylight! Zof, dead, Zof, dead. It does 5 damage a shot and a confirmed injury if you hit all your shots. And he's the best gun on defense, mamma mia. Alibi. Alibi? Alibi. A kit fully about baiting. 
She can deploy holograms that looks like her, and if attackers shoot, will ping their locations 5 times within 5 seconds. Jesus, Maverick, a breacher but with a blowtorch, is the most difficult breacher to play because you actually have to work for the breach and his only counter is to just shoot him in the head. Or you can just outplay your enemies by acting as a budget thatcher. Clash. Monty on defense but instead of closing the gap, you further it with your taser. This results in an annoyance and time wasted for the enemy team. Or if you wanna go aggressive, you can outplay them with what we call the turtle technique. Gigan but with an R. Nomad. She can deploy air jabs to blast away anyone trying to flank or push up. It takes a second to detonate so don't just go shooting it at someone and just hope for them to get blasted instantly. Kaid, the oldest looking operator in the game with a strong beard game. He deploys the Artilla Electroclaw that sticks onto any surfaces, even hatches, and electrifies anything in its radius. Sass, but with an R, and down under mate, great luck. A my shield that is off. Ah, She's one of those stingers used for roadblocks, but handheld. They deploy in an hexagonal shape and does 5 damage when you step on them like you would when you step on a Lego. Mozzie, a shorty, literally, but not to be confused with the super shorty. He deploys pests which hacks onto any drones in its vicinity. Yes, and that includes Twitch drones. Survey Corpse, Nuck, Vigilant Cav on attack, but she can't interrogate. Secret Service Warden An up so situational that you'll be ecstatic when the time comes to shine because he turns on his glasses and sees through smokes and be immune to flashbangs basically a glass but on defense Apex Alpaca Amaru She can grapple into any window or hatch instantly from below and rush straight to the enemy team and based on her age I'm surprised she hasn't broken a hip yet Goyo some operators have a shield as a secondary gadget, but Goyo? Goyo has two shields, and they explode when shot from the canister in the back. Nighthaven. Yeah, we're uh, getting into fictional territory. Kali. Or Kali. A real sniper with a bolt action rifle, which is a one shot injury to the body. Her gadget is the explosive lance, which acts like Ash and Zofia's breaching rounds. But it can burrow into reinforced walls to get whatever gadget is on the other side, stopping you from breaching. Whammy, aka Yeager 2 Electric Boogaloo. He deploys his mag nets. He can deploy it anywhere and he'll suck in any projectile in its radius. But it'll still explode. So be careful where you throw it. A European NASA? Yana. An albino who deploys holograms which she can control and act as a drone. Wait a minute, albino? How can she fight if she's an albino? Her eyes can function well. Well, you see, we have what we call fiction, and she has those fictional lenses. Her hologram, if taken any kind of damage, will be destroyed instantly, but she can wait for it to recharge because it has infinite uses. Kinda... Oryx. Well, is he or is he not a part of it? Well, I say yes and Monkey Man here is the only one who has the ability to jump, particularly through hatches. And damn, this guy doesn't even skip leg like day. He can even dash through walls, soft walls, like Kool Aid Man. Again, but Denmark. Ace. The last bridge on our list, and one that Fraggers will want to play because of the AK. Especially to get the chance to say they got an ace with ace. Peter, but in Africa. Malusi. She sets the banshee, which are basically barbed wires, but on steroids. Nothing's worse like being wob wobbed with 10 seconds on the clock. Where every sensei and cool people will be in the future. Sam Fisher, Zero himself. He's in every single Tom Clancy's game, except from his own, since 2012. He's Valkyrie on attack, who can deploy camps anywhere, even through reinforced walls. And you can even switch watching both sides. Again, but Thailand. Haruni. Oh, 
she can deploy an indestructible laser gate and I mean indestructible denying anything true and I mean anything true if anything goes through then you'll be disabled for 30 seconds until someone else enables it again by shooting it she also has a passive ability called the rocket punch now would you look at that we reached the end well then at the start you might have wondered why simplified why call it a simplified guide well, because beginners, advanced, pro, honest, complete, how-to, and under 5 minutes have already been used.